This intelligent device, called a pantograph, could be key to powering trucks electronically in the future. Instead of using batteries, they get their current from overhead wires. In a forest in Brandenburg, Siemens is testing a system that could change the look of highways in the future. Hassel Grunius is getting the latest results of sensor tests from his engineers. The most important sensor is between the arms in the middle. It can tell whether there's an overhead line. Only then will the arms lift up to connect. Siemens is adapting existing rail technology for diesel trucks. They've been equipped with the pentagraph and an additional electric motor, which helps to save energy. The system is doubly efficient. It helps reduce energy consumption, so it lowers CO2 emissions and also makes for cleaner air. More flexible than train tracks, the e-highway system allows drivers to carry out regular road maneuvers, such as passing. And it also offers cost advantages. With railroads, the tracks alone make up 90 to 95 percent of the costs. The rest is electrification. We've already got the roads, so if we use the existing roads for electrification, it's a much cheaper system. Logistics companies with regular shuttle runs could be among those who profit most from the technology. Kai Bode runs a mid-sized carrier with 90 trucks and around 500 trailers near the port of Lübeck. We have a 25-kilometer run from here to the train and the port in Lübeck. And it's driven by 50 to 70 trucks a day in each direction. Currently, Bode's trucks do the stretch using diesel. Batteries would use up too much freight capacity but the new system could help him reduce emissions, a selling point. I think this could get us commissions, because reducing CO2 has become a big issue in transport. Once it's arrived at the port of Lübeck, the cargo will go on to Stockholm by train. The Swedish government will begin testing the e-highway concept on real roads this summer. Germany has yet to decide where to place such a test track. The e-highway's real road performance will determine its success and its carbon footprint would shrink the more grid power comes from renewable sources.